everyone, I'm Hal. I'm Mal. And we are Hal Mal Productions. Congrats on being early DJ. Hi Hal Mal, just popping in for a bit before I head to the comment hour. Ooh, exciting. Yes, you were talking about that yesterday. Thank you for the head pats, Jess. And hi, Tazma, how are you all doing? Hope you're all doing well. Ah, oh, look at all the head pats. Head pats for the dog. Oh yeah, Boomer gets them too. Uh, you just bunch it on some food. Yes. Uh, we're mostly just going to be doodling today. Also, it's a doodles. Uh, probably going to be doodling Wonderland Showtime because we're obsessed with Project Set Guy. <laughs> you get to see the best characters to ever exist. <laughs> uh, but we're probably going to start off with um, a good, just trying to attack. Ooh, a legendary Pokemon? Like Pokemon Go or. Uh, Maybe you're playing a new Pokemon, like that one Pokemon game that everyone's playing, the, the open world one, whatever it's called. <laughs> uh, but we're probably going to start off with line of action because that was fun last time. So we're gonna. So you ready? You are? You don't look ready. I'm ready. You sat like a bird. This is Brilliant my... diamond, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is my. Well, I was not ready. Uh... You ready? Hang on. I'm ready. Okay. And go. So okay. in the top right corner is the the pose. It changes every 30 seconds. And the goal is just draw it in 30 seconds. Jester drawing. It's pretty fun. I don't know a lot about Pokemon, um, admittedly. I want to play all the Pokemon games at some point, maybe. I, I need to play all the Pokemon games and all the Zelda games. I'm not a real gamer, you know? Oh! Oof. Um. I really like the designs. You guys are streaming again? You are very quiet, are we? Are we, like, on stream? Or are you, like, talking about, like, from your room, we're quiet, you don't hear us? I mean the other room. Okay. There's a free website for old Nintendo games. I might try it at some point. I don't know. I haven't... I haven't played video games in a very long time. Um, I was playing Minecraft a couple days ago. Just because my head was hurting. And I was like, man... Strip mining would probably make me feel better. It didn't really. I've been dealing with really bad migraines these past couple days. I've been drinking all my dad's Gatorade to try and help. Because Gatorade is good for headaches. He's is this lying. really 30 seconds? It feels like it's going faster than normal. I don't know. I'm kind of being stupid, so that could be why. Look at you go. You're so fast. But I need to play all, like, the classics, you know? Oh my gosh. I really like the um, Pokemon designs for the most part. I know some of them, but <laughs> not a lot of them. I like Eevees because of all the evolutions. I love like the art when they have them all like in a rainbow order. Oh my god. Kit. This is a weird pose for the people. I don't know how to do it. Well, ballet has a lot of weird poses. Oh my god, that was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like there needs to be like a couple moments of like break in between the pictures so that you can like change layers and whatnot. But that might defeat the purpose. You're still able to get a lot down in 30 seconds though. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I'm. You're going slow. I'm faffing about with a bunch of stupid details. <laughs> <laughs> but how are you all doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I did not go to bed until 3 in the morning. More like, I guess, like 4 in the morning. You can blame Sky, Chili, and Ollie for that. Mostly Sky. <laughs> 
Uh, the D and D went on way longer than we thought it was oh, gonna be. Oh, this one's cool. Pause it. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I went back. I'm sorry. It'll go. It will come back in 30 seconds. I'm sorry. Or wait. Aha. Pause. Aha. There you go. There's your pose. I want to do this one. I want to do this one justice. All right. This one will probably be the last one then. Sometimes you see a cool pose and you gotta pause it. Forget about the 30 seconds. Okay. Cool kick it is. Uh... And foreshortening is always so cool with any poses and... Ah. You know? This looks like a pose that I would see you're in. <gasps> yeah! The person's holding something that kind of looks like her daggers. Is it gonna be spy family art instead? <laughs> Probably not. Oh, but I'd be so interested to see those characters in your style. Cause I feel like spy family has a slightly, I sometimes I'll see like anime and I'll be like, oh, it's like a cartoon anime style. Like my hero has it where like they have bigger hands and rounder eyes than normal. You know? More exaggerated expressions. I mean, anime has exa exaggerated expressions most of the time anyways. But, like, sometimes it feels more, like, inspired from Western styles. I don't know if that makes any sense. I think it makes sense. Big chunky boots are really cool uh, to see come way into the foreground. Mm-hmm. Can be really dramatic with it. Talking about anime styles, Jojo has the most serious art style. I I know what Jojo is because I've well I've seen like season one and two, but I stopped watching after that. I didn't really like Jojo that much. I know a lot of people like it. I think it's funny for like the memes and whatnot, but <laughs> I I I don't know. Ooh, well, well, well. Look who it is. Chili the cherry. How are you doing? Did you sleep well last night? <laughs> Dude, we stayed up way too late. I'll be looking for the most part. Gotta get groceries uh, here in a moment for tonight. Ah. Groceries are important. I don't think I ate anything this morning. I woke up at noon. I didn't eat anything. Oops. <laughs> Got family coming over for movie night. Ooh! <laughs> do you usually do like movie nights on Fridays? I'm trying to make my dad watch Infinity Train. He likes it so far, but. <laughs> Infinity Train's a really short show, so it's almost done. Ugh. Typically. I caught up with the Marvel movies recently. I saw a uh, Multiverse of Madness in the Spider-Man movie that I wasn't watching, even though I really liked it. I have mixed feelings about Multiverse of Madness. Multiverse of Madness is just kind of... I liked it because I really like Scarlet Witch. But... I wish... We saw... Her... Like... Descent into evil and madness. My model is lagging really bad. Whoa. It was a little disappointing, but I thought overall it was okay. I... Okay, my dad really, really likes the director that was chosen for Multiverse of Madness uh, because um, it's the same person that was like for uh, Army of Dar oh wait, that Army of Darkness was the same. Yeah, he I likes. Can't see the reference anymore. Oh, sorry. Uh, 
I think it's the same as Army of Darkness. Because that's my dad's favorite movie. So he's like, oh my gosh, I love this guy. I don't... He also did the first two Spider-Man movies. Really? Because... I found the movie really hard to watch. Like, it made me, like, nauseous because of all the camera stuff going on. Like, it was cool, but it kind of felt like more... Multiple art pieces rather than a movie. I just got really confused. But I liked... It was very scary during the scary parts. Oh yeah, the third one? The... Okay, wait. The Spider-Man movies with Tom Holland? Or... Probably not. The Spider-Man movies with a... Uh, we not talk about the third one. You're talking about the... Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I didn't know that. Tobey Maguire, yes. That one. Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and then Tom Holland. I'm not usually good at remembering actor names. I'm really bad at remembering, like, names for, like, actors and bands and musicians and whatnot. I know who they are in my head. I can recognize them, but I cannot associate names to them. I'll be like, oh yeah, that was the one that was the Spider-Man in that one movie. Which doesn't narrow it down much. <laughs> I think out of all the Spider-Mans, Tobey Maguire is my favorite just because, like, he was the first one I saw. Yeah, I think usually it's, like, oh, the one that you saw first is probably the one you like the most. I don't think I ever saw the ones with Andrew Garfield in him. My mom was, like, didn't like him, so she was like, you don't want to watch him, so I didn't. But I think he was actually pretty good in the... That's why Bruce Campbell was in those for Spider-Man movies too. I don't know who that is. Maybe I do know, but I don't, again, I actor names I don't recognize. Toby was my first, but Tom Holland is hand down my fave. I do like Tom Holland as Spider-Man. He's Ash. Oh, and, oh, in Army of Darkness. Listen, I didn't like Army of Darkness, <laughs> I'm sorry. My dad is disappointed I don't like his favorite movie. I don't usually like horror movies. There's only a couple that I've seen. I know, I know, I know. There's only a couple I've seen. And most of the time I don't like them. I like Multiverse of Madness though, like, uh, the horror moments. Like, oh, I hope it's not too spoilery for people. But the, the sound guy? That, that was cool. <laughs> that was cool. Army of Darkness is my favorite of the trilogy because it's the only one I can still rewatch. Interesting. I loved Evil Dead too, but it freaked me the hell out. <laughs> I... I think the only, like, horror movie that I've, like, seen... Or, no, 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 there's two I've seen. With, like, friends, because they wanted me to watch them. I didn't, like, super, like, enjoy and I probably wouldn't watch them again. Everything, everywhere, all at once, uh, did a multiverse way better. I don't think I've seen everything, everywhere, all at once. I heard of it, but I don't think I've actually seen it. Maybe I'll see it. Did you watch the Ash vs. Evil Dead TV show? Oh my gosh, I dropped that now. Not yet on your list. Everything Everywhere All At Once is so good. You should? Okay. <laughs> One of my things to watch then. I have a lot of things I need to watch. And play. You know a game I really need to play is Omori. We were talking about like playing like some of the classic games. I know Omori is not a classic, but it's a game that it looks like I would really, really like. It's the best of all the movies combined, but it's very gory. Amori is an experience for sure. I, I need to play it.
there's um but the two horror movies that i've like seen and like actually sat down and watched the whole way through was it and a uh, silent place or the the i don't know if it was called the silent place it's the one where like there was no talking that movie was cool but like i probably wouldn't watch it again and also i wasn't i'm not it's not like a it's i wouldn't say i get scared like horror movies are too scary for me to watch i just get a little bit bored i guess i just don't like the genre <laughs> it's not gory the whole time there's just some weird scenes a quiet place was ah ha ha that's what it was all right i liked the idea of like the movie being pretty silent i thought it was cool seeing like sign language be used for the most part i also so the main dude actor i do not remember his name but i know him because he was chuck in the show Chuck, which I, f I feel like it's probably a well-known show, but I'd never hear anyone talk about it, but my dad made me watch it. Yeah, Zachary Levi. L yes. I can't even say the name right. Um. <laughs> I, I like Chuck. I don't think I actually finished Chuck. Because it went, it was very long. Wait, I haven't heard about Chuck in years. I love that show. My old roommate got me to watch it. Okay. I, I like the show too. I don't know if I finished watching it though. It was very long. Me either, to be honest. Hi, Mimi. How you doing? You didn't? Yeah, I didn't finish it, did I? If, if I were to, you know, watch it from, I can't just watch it from where I started off. I'd have to completely rewatch it because I don't remember most of what happened. I remember some of the stuff. Like, uh... I know he had the best friend who I liked a lot. His name was Morgan. Really love the pose? Yeah, we. it's, uh, hold on. This pose. We're using a line of action. It's a really cool art website. It does, um, you can, like, do really quick gesture drawings, like, for 30 seconds. Uh, but Mal wanted me to pause on this one because they like the pose. It's really cool. My brother used to watch it. I've seen, like, probably a dozen random scattered episodes. It's pretty funny from what I remember, but I, I don't remember much about it. I, I The one big thing I remember was I think they got sponsored by Subway, like, a couple times. And there were episodes where they, like, were eating Subway sandwiches, and it was, like, a big deal or something. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> uh, my favorite episode is still the Tom Sawyer one. Uh, Freddy W is in one of the later episodes of- Wait, really? Thanks for the tip, I bookmarked it. It's a great website. They have like poses, uh, animals, hands, and backgrounds, I think. Very cool website. You, get, you didn't get that far into the series? I swear I was on like season four. How many seasons are there? I remember they got like, but again, you should watch, uh, <laughs> I think that's where I stopped too. I, I don't even remember why I stopped. I, I think we just had trouble finding the other episodes or something. Or maybe like school started up again and like we didn't have as much time or something. I might have been in a play, so I didn't have as much time. I can't remember. I've heard Lost gets uh, worse the more it goes on. I don't think I've seen Lost. Womp, well, hello Braxton. How are you doing? But, um... Yeah, I, I'm trying to, I, I know that, uh, oh, what's his name, Zachary Levi, Levi? He, w he was also, uh, the one superhero in that one movie, the one that was, 
Oh god. You know, you know the one I'm talking about. He had a lightning bolt and was a kid. Shazam! Thank you! I... Levy, thank you. <laughs> I can't... I remember that movie was pretty funny too. He was Flynn entangled? That, oh my god. Okay, then I, that makes, I, now that I hear it now, I hear it now. That fits really well too. I didn't know that. But now I, to be fair, I never pay attention to. That makes so much sense now. You can say you now see the light. Clever. I love Tangled. I want to rewatch it. Oh my god. I need to watch the show. The TV show for Tangled. I've heard it's really good and it looks really cool. You know? Mm -hmm. oh, there's so many things. Confession. I never watched it all the way through. The movie or the show? There's a Tangled TV show? Yeah, and I, it's pretty uh, good from what I've heard. Only the first half hour and then the last 10 minutes. What? Really? How? I really like the movie. I also love the character design in that movie. Like, I... And the animation is just... That's so cool. But I played through the Tangle world in Kingdom Hearts 3, so I think that counts. <laughs> the stuff that I've heard about Kingdom Hearts, I don't know much about it, but it sounds like a fever dream of a game. <laughs> I know like half the characters are all the same character or something, but they're not, but they are. It wasn't that I didn't like it. They put us on for, oh, they put on for us at camp, uh, I went to, and I wanted to stay in the room to, and play Skyrim on my laptop instead. Ah. Priorities, I see. Do you remember when Frozen came out? Um, this is a little bit off topic, but I, it was so hard for me to convince people to watch Frozen. For some reason, I think everyone was like, ugh, I'm so sick and tired of the, like, the classic princess movies where they find, like, oh, they fall in love with the, you know, prince and yada yada. I have some people that I, I think my cousin refused to watch it because... I refused to watch it. Yeah, I know you refused to watch it, but, like, my cousin, they, um, wanted to watch, they started to watch it. But as soon as, like, the first song, like, love is an open door, like, refused to watch anymore. It was like, no, I promise it gets good. And they were like, no. I shrugged off Frozen when I first heard of it. But then I saw it and I loved it. For a whole year, I was obsessed. I really liked Frozen. I, like, I, I said before, I really love, like, when siblings are actually, like, used in stories in, like, a convincing way. You know, like, they fight, but they care about each other at the end of the day. Sibling love, you know? Uh, but I, it took... I had to drag Mal to watch it. I had to drag you out of your room, strap you to the chair, and be like, watch this movie. And you liked it. And you refused to admit it for like a month. I didn't really like Frozen 2, though, I'm gonna be honest. I'm... I was a little bit confused about... Where anything was going in that movie it didn't really feel like a lesson was learned or that like i was just confused also i heard like this song i guess that was taken out of like frozen 2 that like kristoff sang or something i don't know the whole thing but apparently frozen 2 was pretty close to how i pictured my ideal sequel oh really huh I guess I didn't really feel like Frozen needed a sequel. But I, I think I heard that um, originally 
Anna was supposed to propose to Kristoff? And I'm mad that that didn't happen if that was supposed to happen. I feel like that would have been so cool. Disappointment. I want more of an adventure story and I got it. Well, that's fair. I guess I like more like found family stories and like power of friendship sort of deals. That's, that's my toxic trait. I will love any like, any found family, any like power of friendship. I will eat it up. Those are my favorite tropes. Anyway. I think I'm done with the warm-up stuff now. <laughs> Sorry, that's my meme. <laughs> um, let's go. Pull me some references of Emu. <laughs> oh. Crash culture makes me wanna spill my. Oh, she's got the cutest stuffing. Move the mic closer to Mel. I'm so sorry. sorry. During- Oh my god. Oh, this mic's coming loose. Hold on. I gotta actually fix it. During d and I like, moved the mic closer to me. Oh my god. Do you guys want to hear how D&D &D went last night? <laughs> we stayed up till 3 in the morning. The comeback took forever. Oh my god. I love that about D&D, &D, you know? Combat can take- an entire session, sometimes two. I really, I... There was plot twists, there was drama, I cried really loudly that my mom had to come check on me. <laughs> uh... It was... Sky's Campaign. Uh, which is me, Chili, Ollie, Kaiba, and Egg, uh, are the players. This guy's DMing. It's like a campaign about dragons and stuff. And I play a barbarian woman who is like six foot nine, and she's awesome. She's like giant woman. Power, I love her. I love her so much. Um, and she has like a husband and three kids who like were kidnapped and she's on a quest to find them. Uh, she, she found out that her kids were taken by this organization called the Chromatic Order, which is a group of dragons, the Chromatic Dragons. And we're working with, like, metallic dragons to defeat them because there's, like, this war thing going on. Um. Uh, Oliver is playing, uh, Dragonborn. Gemstone, Dragon, Emerald. Uh. And I think that he's a criminal, but I don't know. I, I try not to... <laughs> Ask about it too much. Uh, Chili's playing an old man named Kevin. <laughs> or Kevin did this. Oh, I can't. Oh, Kevin did this. Gelantara Serpent Thumb the Third, I think. It's a long name. It goes by Kevin. Uh, he's a wizard and he's really old, and <laughs> we think he's obsessed with butter. Ah, <laughs> because he bought like six tubs of butter at one point and we thought he was going to eat it like ice cream. He didn't. It was for a spell. It was for like the grease spell, but that is not the first thing that went to our heads, so he's the butter man. It's like the ice king, but with butter. He really is like the ice king, isn't he? <laughs> uh, Egg is playing a tiefling warlock. And Kaiba's playing a human paladin who is like just strong man. I like imagine I've always imagined Throck as like 
you know that one fairy from Fairly Odd Parents that was like really muscular and like I do remember him. Oh, what was his name? Whatever. I remember that's how I imagined Throck. <laughs> like Jorgen, yes. Guy. Yeah, 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 him, him, him. That's how I imagine. So our team is actually just like, oh, uh Alexi, which is uh he is six foot ten. All of our characters are over six feet. Uh I think our shortest is six two, which is Kevin. We are a group of giants and all of us were like built our characters for damage. Uh we and we the only like healer people we have is Throck, who constantly forgets he can heal, and Alexi, who's kind of a jerk and <laughs> And, like, you know, a bard. I think he's College of Whispers, so... Details. But, uh... This session, we, like, started off by, like, going to go to bed, and, uh... My character had, like, a dream sequence with, uh, dragons. Uh, she doesn't know Draconic, so honest to god, didn't get too much information. But, uh... The metallic dragons that we teamed up with, uh, one of them died. He was like a younger dragon named Benji. He was a bard as well and was really close with Alexi. He died. Uh, and the dream was about him and his like kind of older sister type other uh, metallic dragon. She's alive. She's a copper dragon, I think, and he's brass. Whatever. Uh... Uh, da 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 da. Sorry, hold on. Okay. Um. It was like. Just seeing those two interact was a little sad because Benji's dead. And then I saw Benji dead again. But like, it seemed different this time. My theory is like. When the dragons were dragons, uh, there was like this dragon war going on between the metallic dragons and the chromatic dragons. The metallic dragons were kind of losing the battle, so they they were dying, or some of them did die. And the big big dragon, which I think for the metallic dragons is Bahamut, I think. Yes. Uh, was like ah. Heck nah. Is this the bees geese? <laughs> oh no, I'm just playing a playlist. Um. And. He revived all of them, like, using, like, a spell, like, reincarnate. Because even though Benji was a metallic dragon, he, like, was actually a half-elf. And, like... Wait, what the hell was Maven? Was she just human? Yeah, I think so. I think she was just human. Whatever, all the dragons are, like, not in dragon-like forms. They're in, like, they're stuck in, like, these feeble, half-elf, human form, things like that. Uh. I think that they were reincarnated by their dragon daddy, I guess, uh, and... Please don't say it like that. <laughs> and... The, <laughs> and, um... Their dragon god... I'm talking about your campaign. I'm doing, like, theories and stuff. And, well, I'm mostly just talking about... Oh my god, I just dropped everything. Um, I'm mostly just talking about last session because I was... A lot happened, and I'm trying to process it. So... I want to hear theories. Okay, I think that the there was the dragon war that happened. Okay, the metallic dragons were like losing against the uh, chromatic dragons. Bahamut was like, ah hell nah, and like reincarnated like all the dragons and like all the dragons. So that's why they're not in like dragon forms. They're like cursed in like their human form or half-elf form, or whatever they were, you know, whatever they are. And... Doing that made him split into, like, all those artifacts. Something like that. I don't know. 
That's just because of the dream, which I didn't get much information on because I couldn't speak dragon. But anyways, my character woke up. She was a little bit like shaken because of the dream and looked around her and her room looked like rearranged. And like there was a letter that she couldn't read because it was in dra draconic and she can't dra draconic. Sucks to suck, just speak dragon. No, <laughs> we got Alexi. Uh, well, I like this funky fresh playlist you picked. I do too, I just randomly picked it. I'll be right back, by the way. Sorry. How dare you, don't leave me. I'm leaving. That's so rude, I'll never forgive you. Live with it. Man, the way I draw bodies is not very good for drawing complicated anime outfits. <laughs> <sighs> Oh my goodness. This is a really weird thing. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry about yesterday. It's okay. It was funny. <laughs> mm. I'm struggling man I don't understand how to do this oh you really bullying how she's defenseless shame on you I begged her not to go after you, and she did anyway. Yeah. Ugh. It's, uh... You got... Dad is bullying his daughter. That's so rude. Exactly. Why did you? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Is that what you're laughing? Oh my god! What are you doing to me this entire time? One a.m. and I was yelling out the top of my lungs. No, Hal, come back! Leave them alone! <laughs> <laughs> you were throwing things at me while I was gone. Wow. Cruel. I like when I walked down the stairs and I heard Dad chuckling. I was like, okay, well, that's why. I figured it out. Okay. Ow! Stop! It's so abusive. Uh. What is Wonderland Showtime? They are a like pretend band group. How was very emotional last night? <laughs> I was sobbing so loud. Oh my gosh. I don't know why my model's lagging so much. Oh, that is better. I was sobbing so loud. My mom went to go check on me. <laughs> It's your fault, Sky. You and Ollie. Um, Wonderland Showtime is like a like fake band in a game called Project Sekai that I'm obsessed with. They're more like a theater troupe, but um, yeah. They're absolutely precious and deserve all happiness. My model is like broken. Hello. What? What is happening? It was- Oh my god. My model's like very much behind. Okay. We're, we're good. We're good. That was a great story moment. I thought it was great. I cried. Hal tries being triloquist. I don't know what's happening. It's only my model, I think. I think yours is fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just built different. You wouldn't understand. Well, they're like a theater troupe. They're cute. I need more people to play Project Sekai, but it's a mobile game. And most people don't have space. I already told you one of the theories. Oh, I 
so Linrel got taken, which was like this this bard that was traveling with us, uh, who is only trying to help, or so <coughs> he says. Um, <laughs> maybe Chili's like campaigns are rubbing off on me. I can't trust any NPC ever anymore. All of them are suspicious. Potentially evil. <laughs> I trusted Linrel. And now I don't, just because he was kidnapped. <laughs> like, poor guy. He can never catch a break. I mean, I'm paranoid. You're right. Um, the letter basically was like, Ah, uh, yeah, we took something of yours, which was Linrel. I find it really funny. They treated him like an object. <laughs> um, uh, we took something of yours. Send the girl alone. I'm the girl, by the way. I'm the only girl in the party. And the reason why... Well, I actually don't know the reason why. I'm gonna guess it's because I beat Maverick up and they were not happy about that. Maverick is one of the chromatic dragons and we don't like him. <laughs> but I'm wondering if there was another reason why they wanted her. Because... Probably because they have your kids? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I was wondering. I did make Maverick mad. Well, like, Maverick deserves it. Anyways, how are you doing, Vapor? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but, like, in the room where Linrel was taken, it was all, like, a mess, and we were all looking around. And Alexi saw, like, a wisp of white hair out the window. And Sky, Sky was, like, saying, Oh, I'm gonna kill your husband. I'm gonna kill your husband. My husband has white hair. He's a he's a drow, so he has gray skin, white hair. And I was like, oh no, it's my husband. He's like brainwashed or something, and whatever. It was not my husband. I thought, oh, you know, someone else has white hair. Sojourner. Sojourner is like one of the metallic dragons. He has white hair. He's really sneaky. Maybe it's him. Uh, nope. I'm doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I didn't go to bed till 3, but I'm alright. It was Javius! It was Javius! My first character! It was Javius. Uh, I was flabbergasted. I literally fell out of my chair and like slinked like, it was like, you know, I like slinked down my chair under my table and screamed. I posted a photo on your Discord. Okay, hold on. I, 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 I was so not expecting it, and I don't know why. Pets? Oh, look at Boomer. He's, Boomer's very, very, very cute. I was so flabbergasted. I, I think that we all just sort of talked about it for like 20 minutes afterwards. Like, we paused the game like, hold the phone, hold the phone. What? I, I was so shocked. Uh, so, surprise. Yeah, you did. But I was, I was shocked. Um, Javius is my very first character in my very first campaign with Chili. She's a half drow. Uh, which works because Belle is a human. Her husband is a drow. Half drow. Uh, but Belle's kid is named Adina. I am not sure if you just used Javis's picture because it looks similar to Belle and like it's like ah perfect. Or if it's actually Javius and now I'm just kind of like huh. I don't know. I don't know. It was just straight up Javius. I'm like I'm still reeling. Don't give me that smug look. Evil. I mean, I'm still... Whatever. Uh, at least Belle knows that her kid's alright. Her kid's alive, is well and good. Uh, was bit, a bit mad, and also did not really respond to her at all, and then ran into a, like, portal door thing and disappeared again. But hey, this is the first news that Belle has about her kids being, like, alive and well. Okay, at least one of them. That's fair. Um... In, like, a year and a half. So she hasn't seen her kid in a year and a half, and there she is. And she runs away. 
a bit angry about that, but, you know, maybe she, I, I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out. Well, alive at last. You don't know if they are well. Oh, uh, well, I think that they're, I, I'm, I'm hoping they're fine. We know Javius is, but, um, if, if her daughter really is Javius, then she doesn't end up fine. Um, <laughs> how are you doing, Ollie? Also, can we get a Hal Dictionary? A, a, what's a Hal Dictionary? Is it a bunch of made-up words I've said? Well, uh, alive at least. You don't know if they are well. Alive. No, I'm confused. How I love you. I don't know what I did! <laughs> but what? I'm bad at words. Reading. Ah! <laughs> I am bad at reading. I know. Hey, it's the guy that died. I'm getting to that, okay? <laughs> Hydrate. Drink water. Thank you for the hydrate. You did die. Alexi died, yeah. You're fine. Uh. Uh, live at least. Okay, I'll be right back. Alright. See you in a bit. Okay. Uh. Brain work. The letter was like, oh yeah, bring bell. Well, okay, it didn't say a location, so we were very confused for a bit. I think the chromatic order is like really, really dumb. I, <laughs> I'm shocked. Maverick's like a coward. He's such a coward that he like was even like worried about giving the location of where I needed to go, cause he knew he'd lose. Okay, so he didn't like lose, but like, he's a coward. A coward, I say. No wonder Maverick tried to run. Dude, he's such a coward. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm so upset. At, mm. Eventually, he figured out that like there were the coordinates to like this tree that we call the big one. It's not called the big one, but we call it that. Coward, he was kicking your guys' butts. His minions are kicking our butts. He was just a sucker. He couldn't do anything. He sucks. I don't like him. He did do damage. I just don't like him. I'm gonna make fun of him. Until I get information on my kids. The big one. Hi, Kaiva. He realized he didn't put a location and was embarrassed. <laughs> what a coward. Whatever the case is, he was like, oh, go alone. And I was like, ugh, fine. So, went alone with, like, a rat, but that didn't last long because, like, the rat could tell Kevin, like, yo, danger, and they all just walked over there. They weren't even sneaky about it. He farted and ran away each time. Real scary. Dude! Yeah, he was just running around. He was flying so I couldn't hit him. What a coward. I don't like him. We got into a battle that lasted 17 years. Um, it was a very long battle. I think it's a very versus... specific amount of time. Oh, well, it's true. Uh, every fight versus him, he gets beat, and once Throck steps up, he runs off. You're all stinky now. It was a long battle. Uh... Day 15! Give it up for day 15! <laughs> we were fighting in front of, like, the big one. We were expecting Tree Gre Gremlin to show up. Tree Gremlin is Sojourner because he... He's like the Lorax. We messed with his tree a couple times and he beat us up for it. Not, like, serious beat up, but, like... He's weird. He's a weird old man dragon thing. I don't like Sojourner. I don't trust Sojourner. I don't trust anyone. We never called him! We were by- we were fighting by his tree! I kind of figured he'd just show up! 
You know? Who needs to call him? He's the tree gremlin! Alexi is going to poop the tree gremlin's pants. <laughs> oh wait, so... Uh, what's the spell? You're so paranoid. I am! I am, Sky. It's almost like I can't trust anyone. Just... That old man's crazy. You expect me to trust him? No. I'm a little annoyed that Emu doesn't actually have an antenna most of the time. Well, the head pads didn't work. I think the head pads are like severely delayed for some reason. Because they, they do work. They work the first time. It's okay, Hal. They are there. The head pads will arrive eventually. Take like five to ten business days, usually. <laughs> Dude, she's so cute. I love her. Do you think that Javius is Javius, or do you think that Javius was just used as an example of like, oh yeah, this is what your kid looks like, probably? I don't actually know, so... I personally think she was just an example, but that's just me. There's the head pats. See? Ten, five to ten business days. There they are. That was very much like... only like two minutes. <laughs> I don't know why they're so delayed. I'd have to fix it. Begging you. Also, la Mal last night, real smooth. Yeah, they pretended to sleep to avoid me. Evil. And then they avoided me. There's some pretty funny moments last session, though. <laughs> like, uh, Chili was like, oh yeah, Kevin is like, immune to everything you know he's like he's got plot armor he's fine he's gonna be fine this guy was like Psh. no he doesn't he doesn't have plot armor he's he's gonna he can die at any moment it's like oh yeah then kill me it's like okay fine roll a d100 on 100 you live guess what he rolled <laughs> he rolled a 100 it was shocking oh my god i could not stop laughing switch outfits ooh Okay. I'm so mad about it. <laughs> I was like, that's the best, most ironic thing. I Listen, you said if he rolled like anything other than a 100, and he, he'd die. And he rolled a 100. Don't hate the player, hate the game. The game that you made up. <laughs> Looking snazzy, I know, I know. Tension builds up after sad reunion between the two bars, not even once. <laughs> yeah. So, um, the battle was going like pretty bad. Uh, those guys sucked. They were not an easy fight, and um, Alexi might have got one shot. Ah, uh, he got shot out of the sky, took fall damage, and then poison damage, and like instantly died. So, yeah, poor Alexi did not do good. Uh, Alexi straight up just murdered. Uh, it was really, really sad. We weren't positive he was dead, but we were pretty sure. Uh, Lucius goes to check Alexi's pulse, and there's nothing there. Suddenly, the perspective switches to Alexi, um, who is in the afterlife. This music is not helping set the tone, but it's groovy, so I'm keeping it. <laughs> um, there's a body, that is all. Mm -hmm. I feel as dead as Throck was. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of proud of last night. Up until it was 3 a.m. It was a pretty... I like the session. Um... Alexi was dead. He was in the afterlife, uh, and he saw Benji. At this point, I muted my mic. I was already crying. And then Chili was like, ah, oh, play this music. It was his theme from Undertale? That song makes me cry every time. 
So of course I played it. I was already crying. I was crying even harder at that point. Okay? And then the, like, the, the word said in the afterlife. I don't know Alexi's whole story, but man, I feel bad. It's, uh, ah, my, my heart, it's, how oh, it was like, him and Benji were like having a heart to heart. Alexi was basically like a, yeah, I'm going to hell. And, you know, I never stopped running about time. I got caught or whatever. To death. Uh, death time. I was crying. Um, but then Benji was like, you can go back. And Lexi was like, I don't know. And that... You don't know! Alexi is just trying to get what he never got. Ah. It sounded like he just didn't really get <laughs> Just because he is a bad guy doesn't mean he's a bad guy. Uh, it sounded like it was like he, did, he didn't have like a family or like he didn't really get a childhood because uh, I don't know the whole deal, but I was crying really hard. Um, I was like sobbing so loud. Um, I wasn't sure if Alexi was going to come back or not. It sounded like he had the opportunity to, but was like, just not sure. It's like, oh, but your dog, but the team, but Linrell. Maybe one day Alexi will talk about it. I hope so. If anything bad happened to Alexi in his childhood, Belle will beat whatever or whoever. She cares about children, and I know Alexi's probably an adult, but she sees him as a child, even though he's taller than her. <laughs> he acts like a baby, treated like one. Also, the entire second half of the fight, Alexi 100% was teary-eyed, with puffy cheeks. Poor Alexi. Alexi did decide to come back. Uh, he like took his first breath. And then Kaiba comes back in the voice chat. Hey guys, what did I miss? <laughs> it was, uh, he like, I, I think his cat ran out. Oh, uh, he got his cat back, don't worry. And you said Alexi didn't care. He did care. But you mentioned it in, well, we'll see what he does. He doesn't? Sheee. What do you mean? It's okay, Alexi. We know. We know he cares. He'll just never, ever, ever admit it. You take your first breath. Hey guys, what did I miss? <laughs> it was like perfect timing. Alexi's a tsundere? <gasps> I think the, the I think the playlist I have right now is like songs I play while I'm cooking bread or something. While I'm making bread. Oh, songs I dance to while cooking. So yeah. No idea what you mean. Throck is an idiot. <laughs> what? I don't think anyone in our team has brain cells. Well, maybe Kevin. I think Kevin has the most of the time. And then sometimes Lucius. Sometimes. Rarely. Alexi. My cousin Throckmorton the skateboarder? His name is Throckmorton, yes. I don't like you. What do you mean? B Baka! <laughs> Alexi refuses to use them, exactly. Um, Throck and Bell probably killed their brain cells because they wanted to fight something, and that was the only thing around. My cousin Throckmorton. That's how you got his name? I'm 
excited for next session because I'm hoping I can do something with Alexi if the opportunity arises. I'm I'm excited. Oh my, there's so much. Oh, I, I, can't, I can't believe that battle lasted so long and it ended with the guy running away. I was so mad. And as he ran away, he was like, I'll take care of your kids. Screw that guy. At least she knows who to beat up to get information on her kids. Dr. Morton looks like a Chad. I was saying that he, to me, he looks like the muscular fairy and fairly odd parents. George, 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 Jorgen. I do have to say though, after this session had me crying. Love you, Hal. Whoa, smite be upon. Also, y'all coming to anime night tonight? Uh, yeah, probably. Hopefully. I'm actually pretty awake, considering we were up so late. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. After the session, <laughs> uh, me, Ollie, and Chili could not stop laughing. Uh, cause we were laughing at Chili, <laughs> at, um, Ollie's laugh. <laughs> Stop laughing, it was like a, a circle of laughter. Also, how you didn't get in trouble because uh, of my wheezing, did you? No, 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 I didn't. I don't think I woke anyone up. Uh, I'm fine. Bet we'll more than likely get to season two. Ooh, I'm watching Slime with Sky. I'm going to Anime Con in a little bit. Enjoy your convention. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. It shouldn't. <laughs> Are you laughing because you're thinking about the laugh? No, no, no. <laughs> Have a good stream. See ya, DJ. Wish I could go to a con. I haven't gone to a convention ever, actually. Unless you can uh, count Renfair. I like Renfair. I want to go to a convention at some point. I just I don't I didn't really have cool friends that would want to go to conventions, you know. I was friends with the kind of people that were like, <laughs> "Ew, anime, cartoons, you're so lame and childish." Those kinds of people. They were the lame ones. Yeah, Brady would have gone. He would have. But I don't think he ever had the time. Time for a VTuber meetup at Con. Let's go. That would be really cool. I want it. I want it. I know so my bad. dad was thinking of maybe going to TwitchCon, but I don't think he did. Or he was wondering if we wanted to go. Specifically because he was like, ah, uh, Artist Alley, are you guys going to sell things? I was like, no. <laughs> How you have cool friends. To go with Miali and Sky. Let's go! TwitchCon is this weekend in Amsterdam. Yeah. So we can't go, but. Mal, join us. They'll join. I'll force them. Don't worry. They don't have a choice. This is true, but I was gonna go anyway. <laughs> I'm out of water. Give me your water. No. It's my water. Get your own. I don't know what I'd do at TwitchCon. I'd rather go to like an anime convention. I wanted to go. You could have gone. I'd keep the house safe. Don't worry. Anime cons are the best. I do want to go to one at some point. Hal, keep the house safe? I would, I would. Scout's honor. You really couldn't have gone. I would have kept the house safe. I've seen Hal try to take care of herself. It's not pretty. Liar! <laughs> I feel like Hal would have hurt herself accidentally in the process. How can you keep her children alive? This is false! There's one alive! I know that for positive. For now. What if you were just hallucinating? 
Alexi saw her. You can't pull that on me. Alive in Kochi. Yeah, they're bullying me. <laughs> Is she? I'm getting water. Just. <laughs> Great comedic timing right there. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> I just got up too quickly and show me nene. Is that how you spell it? I don't think you spelled it right at all. Wonder who? Where's the N? Oh, that looked like a U to me. Okay. Uh huh. Sure. I'm gonna do a close-up of her face, though. Listen. Now I w We need to make animated emotes again. What if we made a facepalm emote? It would be you facepalming, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably. Oh! Hello, Snower! Hello, Raiders! I'm Hal. I'm Mal. And we are Hal Mal, Mal Productions. Productions. You're playing Uno. Ooh. Did you break friendships? How how did it all go? Uh ooh. Five minute doodle. Oh, I forgot to do the last Okay. Since uh you ready to do you want a five minute doodle, Snore? We'll do a doodle in five minutes. Oh no, where am I? You're at Hal Mal Production Stream. Hello, how are you doing, Wolves? You better at Gang Beast yet? I'm pretty sure Sky beat you in Gang Beasts. Oh no, no. Uno, and yes, many friendships and perhaps even more were broken. Yes, oh, what would you like doodled? Right now we're just drawing uh, some projects that got characters. Because we're obsessed. How do you know this? I was watching Sky! <laughs> I was watching Sky! You can talk all the way in last place. Drawing? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Should join you next time on Gang Beast. I feel like if Evie and Scar played Uno, it would just be... No, I don't want to put down the plus one. <laughs> That's probably, yeah. What would you like doodled? Sky being grabbed off a cliff? Okay. Five um, minutes. Wait, five minutes? Hold on, I need to think. I need to plan it first. Alright. Ah, oh, that's cheating, but alright. Five minutes. Okay. Sky being grabbed how? Off of a cliff? Yeah. Like, like gang she's beast like form. falling, dragged by me, of course. Yeah, gang beast. You hear it, let me show you. I don't know what that means. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> Ignore that. Hold on, let me show you. It's like this blobby sort of style. Okay, but how, what? <laughs> Just holding someone off a cliff in this style. Like, oh, like, like. Like this. Like Lion King style? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like, Sky like, is hanging off and someone else is like holding her up, but is about to drop her. Like dangled, like dang, okay, wait, wait, wait. On the reverse note, Val and Alexi would be looking every chance to put down the plus four. Very much. Okay. I think I've got an idea. What if, uh, what if I got Drip Hoku outfit, but IRL? Shouldn't be the other way around, though? Sky throwing Slothman off the cliff? Listen, Snow is the one that got the doodle. Long live the king. Can you start the timer? Oh, yeah, I forgot. All right. <laughs> Ready? Oh, I started it. Oh, okay. There you go. Go! So I hope your stream was fun, despite the friendships that are inevitably broken in Uno. I haven't played Uno in a while. 
Or were you playing the online Nuno with like all those weird rules, like the seven makes you switch things and the zero makes everyone switch around and all that stuff? That's the chaotic kind, I like that kind. Oh yeah? Every time I grab two people and nose dived off the cliff. Oh, you just, <laughs> Bernania, just. <laughs> it was, thanks, hope you guys are well. Yeah, I love the house rules. Me, you, Mal, and someone else. Uno? Ooh? Sure. I'd be down. You got this. Uh. I wanna play Uno, let's do Uno. You, me, Mal, Ollie. Let's go. Friendships broken. You <laughs> know. And we are doing well. We were playing. We played D and D last night. Well, okay, I played D and D last night, and we stayed up till three a.m. Which was great. It was fun. I surprisingly slept well. Depending on the day I can be Alexia Scar, we shall see. I like Scar, he's sweet. I went on a Nuno. How many <laughs> Ooh, Uno? <laughs> How many people are is it just four? I, sure I know four. I will say, I've been in Uno games with like way too many people. Uh, like the couple times that I've like visited college for orientation and stuff, someone always had multiple Uno packs and it was like 60 people playing all at once. I think we were just collecting cards for fun and I don't think anyone was trying to win. It was just. I don't know what. Snore looks like in Gangreet's form, so uh, I'm just gonna a snor a snor a Snorlax? No, no, no. A Sloth. Mm, I don't know what Sloths look like. Okay. Hold on. I think it looks like this somewhat. Ah. And like this. Yeah, something like that. They look like this. Okay. Yeah, Snore is a Sloth. I almost said Snorlax for s because Snore. I know that Snore is a Sloth. I don't know why. <laughs> Words are hard. I love music. Snorlax. Sloth man, how dare. <laughs> I need to get Kugo set up for D&D &D someday again. Ooh, oh, yeah, you were, is that your uh, backup? No, just straight sloth. Do you have long nails like sloths? Can I paint them? I want to say something I realized, but it'll give away backstories for both my characters. No. Ah, oh, I hate that. Dude, I, ah, oh, it's hard for me to keep my mouth shut. There's so much stuff that I wanted to say about Ursula when she died, but I couldn't because Dipper's still alive. Psh. You acted like a sloth playing Gangs Beast Sky. How much time's left? A minute. I'm not going to get this done in a minute. I know it. I'm also really bad at drawing sloths. Or like any animal really. I like my backup character for both campaigns. It's a bard, so. <laughs> this is stupid. I don't know what I'm doing. I felt sorry for you, which is why I'm here in this photograph on screen dangling you off a cliff. But don't worry, I'll go easy. The drama. Rematch? Am I hearing a rematch? Ooh. I kind of want to play Ray's, but the story is just getting too good. <laughs> getting to the good part with Alexi. Dude. See? I... Mm. Dude, I don't know. It's ah, uh, I, I just, why can't I just play all the characters at once? Oh, that's what DMs do. What? How did I not realize this? Kigo was gonna be my main character for D and D back when it was me, Sky Egg, and our friend Dog. 
Changed it to The Rock once you and Ollie joined instead, since I wanted something I was comfortable with while getting to know you all. Ah, I see. Sorry playing in a tournament next. Getting heated in here. That's why Throck is so basic. I like Throck. To be fair, uh, Bell is pretty basic, but uh... She's just a girl that cares a lot about her family. Who's also very strong. Yeah, and then had to wait on Dog and Alex. I appreciate Kaiba's getting comfortable is for the Ember and I will smash him in the pudding. Uh. Oh. The timer. The timer finished. <laughs> I don't know when it finished. I wasn't paying attention. Well, that's your fault. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> You get more than a five minute doodle. Lucky duck. We love Throck. Hal paying attention? <laughs> Song? Ugh. They never give me. Okay. Uh, messages from the star from Mei Hatsume? Wait, what? Oh no, they're saying. No, 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 it's not Mei Hatsume. They're... Okay, this is an anime character playlist. And they. Okay. <laughs> It was not my house made. This song was okay. I'm. So <laughs> I was very confused for a second. Uh, I think. Why don't they? Why don't they list the people who made the songs? It just says messages from the stars. Alex never gave me a straight answer on if he was joining, and Dog refused to Google, to use Google to fill out the character sheet because it was too inconvenient. Actually, like, character sheets are surprisingly easier than I thought. Oh, thank you for sharing a bit. Wait, did something get thrown at me? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> there. <laughs> I love making characters, it's fun. I, I like it too. Uh, I think it's like the first, like, when ow when when first playing like D and D, it's like the most daunting. Like oh, the character sheet. I accidentally tapped out a stream to find it. But um. Oh my goodness. Okay. Turns out this is a Nightcore version. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, we gotta do a request. Should okay. be handing his sweater over to Iris because it's too cold outside. Hang on. Ugh. Wouldn't Chili taking off his sweater make it colder? <laughs> <laughs> you have a drawing so lifelike. Ugh. My arms hurt, so hold on. <laughs> it brings me back to the time I beat Sky. Keep telling yourself. <laughs> but it's already cold outside. It's summer! And it's sweater's really warm. I guess that's true. Thank you for the head pats. It was nice meeting you guys. Here's a head pat and some bits. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god! Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Keep dreaming, Snorlax. It's Demon Slayer, are you in the corner? Oh yeah! Listen, in a hypothetical situation. True, true, true. DB character making is fun, surprisingly. Now I want to make a build inspired by my own VTuber lore. Ooh, Ollie did that. Played Oliver, who was a dull hun barbarian warlock. You did do that. <laughs> just... I think Chili said that Lunar. Made one inspired by herself as well. Oh, I forgot to send you the lore! Oh yeah, that's right! I feel like most VTubers want to do that. Weeby and Luna did the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have 
too many ideas that are not me. Also, I don't really have much lore. We have a little bit of lore, but like, I don't know how I'd make it into a D&D &D character. It'd be easier to make one for Mal than me, I think. Yikes. I like that the characters that you've drawn before, you're like really fast at drawing. Okay, exactly what Iris's hair looks like, but I'm just doing my best. Apparently I'm getting a villain in my lore soon. Ooh? What do you mean apparently? Aren't you the one making your lore? <laughs> Wouldn't you know? We have villains. In our lore. We do? Halloween and Mal the Root of All Evil. Oh. Do you not remember getting kidnapped? Yes and no. Ooh, are you helping? Interesting. I see. That's cool. <laughs> More Nightcore, I bet? Probably. It's an anime playlist. <laughs> Hi, right set, Shady Sands, how you doing? I'm vibing so much, I know. I, I'm glad that I switched to, I figured out how to do the VOD music in the different music and I, I'm, I feel smart figuring it out. It was actually really easy. It's just, ugh. Uh, man, my arm does not like this. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Cause stick your pinky out. No. <laughs> also, that's not how it works. It's I don't know how it works. To be the index finger. Oh, I don't know. I'm quite well. Doing a lot of plotting. Hope you two are well. We're doing good. You smart! <laughs> I think I can be... Sometimes... Use my brain. <laughs> No. <laughs> As a matter of fact. Brains are overrated. I agree. Stop thinking. You can see, like, the smoke and the cogs turning. Oh, God. I love how my lore is actually dark while I'm just casually wearing drip. <laughs> really? I don't... Oh, I need to know Kaiba lore. I can smell the smoke. <laughs> Are we going to work on the comic on Monday, by the way? I can't remember. I said we were... The reason we were doing Hold on. is on Thursday was because uh, we yeah, like, yeah. Oh, Sunday. Monday's TikTok. I have to check the freaking... You start equals a better and chillier life. Sorry, I had to look at something. For now, for now. Oh. Are you guys working on each other's lore? Is that is that how you do it? That's kind of fun. You just trade each other's lore. Or, you write each other's lore. Lore train! The brighter the light shines, the deeper the darkness grows. Fun fact, his lore is based on me. Ooh! Interesting. Hmm... I've changed our lore multiple times, but then I've never, like, straight up, like, made it canon. So now we have 
Our lore was really dark, but then I felt like it didn't really fit, like, our vibes. So I changed it, and it's not so dark anymore. So BRB, you gotta clean up after work. All right, see you in a bit. Now it's like a just a kind of like funny. Just have dark lore. But I changed it. I already made up my mind. It's a little sad, but not like terribly dark. I feel like before it was pretty, pretty dark. But uh You say the brightest smile casts the darkest shadows. That's sad! <laughs> Originally that was sort of the idea though. But I changed it. Because we wanted to make a fun comic. And I still do. It, it still has some dark moments, but... And you guys will see. Eventually, maybe. I gotta work in my origin part of the lore. Remember the next time you see an... gonna let it slip before the comic comes out, maybe. Well, I, can, I sort of said what the comic is about. It's called The Canon Non-Canon Adventures of How Now Productions. Ah! I'm switching the play. Oh, this is a depressing one. No, I want a fun one. <gasps> Lemon Demon! Wait. I heard this song. <laughs> that I thought was really funny. <laughs> I like this song. This song is great. Also, once I get paid, I'll probably commission you two again for the lower piece. Ooh! Well, our, 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 our commissions aren't really open. We'll see. Our commissions are complicated. Because <laughs> there's a lot of stuff we wanted to... We wanted to, like, redo our commission thing to make it, like, easier. But then we didn't do the stuff we were supposed to do, so it's been closed longer than we thought. We'll probably reopen them, like, again, but, like... Uh, unofficially. We'll see. Alright, BRB. Okay. I'm looking down in the cave, I'm gonna take a good look around. Oh no, I broke it. <laughs> I was so close to killing Linrel. Linrel was fine. You know, I don't trust Linrel. Cause. how he got kidnapped and none of us noticed. My suspicion is that he messed up his own room and like made it look like it was like destroyed and like he's actually working with the chromatic order. That would suck. Oh my god was that a bear? Do you trust him or not? Make up your mind. I trusted him, but I don't know. I don't trust anything anymore. Okay, I sent it. Whenever you read it, oh, there's a lot missing because Cliff Notes, but you'll get the gist of it. All right. 
I'll probably read it later. That's a genius idea, but nah. <sighs> Apparently everyone kept giving chili ideas yesterday. <laughs> First it was Mal, and then I think Ollie said something. I don't know what ideas I gave him, because I didn't say anything. You don't? Him. I mean, other than, like, the thing with, like, that we said the, the first time, the- No, he said it was something that would affect everyone. Huh? Linrel has a story? I'm curious. Is it really THE Hal and Mal? Hi, Hi Hyper, how you doing? It really is. It is THE Hal and Mal. We're trying to stream more often. We have a bit of a schedule. We'll see if it works. Oh, but we are streaming tomorrow. That's guaranteed, pretty much. Unless something comes up. No one asked? Hmm. Wait, would, Ale would Linrel just, like, say if we asked? Linrel has a story and Alexi is the ending. Ah, bless. Only Lexi has some sort of relationship with Lynn. I saved his life! I picked him up, threw him over my shoulder, and then threw him back at Lexi. Still having trouble with my name, I see, I know. It's, it's hard. Hipper? Hyper? Hyper? I thought it was Hyper. Can't remember anymore. And you threw him at me! I did! Did you not want him? Did you not want him? Did you know what? <laughs> I had more trust in you. He was your boyfriend. I thought you'd like, you know, hyper. Okay, I'm right. I did throw him. And he kind of got kidnapped probably because of me. But listen, bygones be got bygones, all right? I will... Listen, Belle's mostly just focused about her kids and she just saw her kid. I mean, he's not complaining, but he normally has some warning before being hit. <laughs> he went, no, 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 don't! BAM! Just threw him at him. I was listening to this song just a few days ago. What a coincidence. Oh! You, so, uh, I couldn't find the meme thingy that I was looking for, but the way I imagined it was, like, Belle threw Linrel at Alexi, and, like, you know that thing when, like, uh, in anime, when it's, like, oh, the dramatic fall, and then, like, they're on top of each other, and then they, like, sort of, like, <laughs> oh, I can't explain it. You know what I'm talking about, Morgan. That happens all the time in Miraculous Ladybug? Yes! Yes, 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 yes! That, where it's like, the, oh, wow, oh my god, I'm so sorry for falling on you! <laughs> like, that sort of thing. Alexi fell hard, uh, fell for Lin real hard. More like Lin fell on Alexi hard. I'm just listening to a fun playlist. <laughs> I hope you know what I'm talking about. I don't just sound like an insane person. You're 6'10. Dude, that's like. How tall? That's shorter than Ollie was, right? In the D&D Ollie? Is D&D Ollie and Ollie the same height? Lynn is 5'10 max. He's short! <laughs> yes, we are the same. Oh, wasn't like he like seven feet, very tall. Six four without the head on. Okay. So at his shoulders, I see. Very tall.
Oh my goodness. Also, uh, so, Sky said that I need an outfit with a braid so I can join the braid squad. I need to make it then. Yeah. All right. I have a couple different ideas for outfits. I was telling you about some of them. Like formal wear outfits. Right? Yeah. The Braid Brigade. Exactly. <sighs> I don't know how tall I am, but I have a general idea that I am five feet tall. No idea how many inches tall. Get a measuring tape. And then you can see. My my mom gave up checking to see if I'm growing. Just formal oh. sisters? We were thinking about it. I have a really cool idea for a dress. I also had this cool idea for like a tux. And then I, ah, ah, I had a lot of ideas. Me and you, ooh. I mean, once we like have an idea of the de designs, I'm probably gonna show them to you. Gotta get the sky stamp of approval. Though I can't say when we'll have outfits next. <laughs> probably be a while. I will do that later. Fair enough. <laughs> you know, when you go to the doctor, they usually tell you. Well, to be fair, I haven't gone to the doctor in a while. I don't like the doctors. Let's be honest. You know, I look good, but uh, I think Mal will be top tier. I don't know what I would look like in formal wear. I, I've told you. I've, I've shown you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I showed you the outfit. I mean, yeah, but I don't know if I want to wear that outfit. But it was so cool. It's cool, but I don't know if it's like my, my thing. <laughs> okay, what do you think your thing is? I don't know, that's the problem. You're gonna have to just sketch up a bunch of ideas. You'll get something. What if you had an outfit like... <laughs> like this. Maybe that could work. I could see that working. I sent a thing in memes about how Lynn fell on Alexi. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Yeah, like that. <laughs> the oh god, I didn't mean to fall on you. Oh wow, what a klutz. <laughs> Lynn Rao should thank Belle for that. <laughs> oh, see, that would be such a cool outfit. Just give it a mal touch. Oh yeah. You just need to sketch up a ton of ideas, and then we can have our friends, like, vote on which one would be the best. Maybe. Maybe one day. I'll be right back. My parents bought me more clothes to tie wearing just jeans and short sleeves. I wear sweatpants exclusively. I don't like jeans. They are uncomfy. math with the head on I'm about seven two bruh um <laughs> you stuff in your face just the math with the head on about seven two that is very tall heads are roughly eight to ten inches long that feels longer than the than it 
then it, I imagine them in my head, but to be fair, they're pretty big. I wish my parents bought me more clothes. I'm tired of wearing just jeans and short sleeves. I mean, <laughs> I, I wish I was more fashionable, but like lately I've pretty much just been wearing like, uh, like cute tops with like sweatpants. Like, <laughs> it's comfortable and I look good in anything. So just <laughs> Ali is a big boy. I spent a little understandable. I also exclusively wear sweatpants, but only at home because comfy. Yeah. Well, I haven't been out of the house in a while, so <laughs> that's why he holds his head so it's easier to talk to him. How nice. <laughs> I thought it was a hoodie. I changed it, because it's easier to draw this way. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I heard a lot of people going crazy about the Minions movie. I don't... <laughs> I don't know why. The Minions movie? Yeah, it was Isn't like, or, or Rise of Gru was like a brand new movie that came out or something. There have been three Despicable Me mo movies and two Minions movies. Are you sure? I think you're wrong. Eight? My head's at least five. You don't even know what your height is, though. I have a big head. Cartoon characters tend to. It's just kind of a thing. Just... Fun fact, if we ever meet IRL, you'll be able to see Ollie's shoulder height. Take an inch, but yeah. I am... <laughs> I, I, I think... Oh. I know a lot of tall people, and I have to, like, break my neck to talk to them, you know? It kind of sucks. I need them to, like, take a knee so I can talk to them. Right? Like they're injured in soccer practice. I've said this before, but my, my, my cousins and uncle and aunt are insanely tall. Like, freakishly tall. Um, one of my youngest cousins, she is, how old? Hold on, let me do quick maths. Like, 11, 12? She is a lot taller than me. Like, a lot. Rise of Gru is not a kids movie, it's a men's film. Yeah, that. <laughs> to be fair, I remember I liked the first uh, Despicable Me movie. I don't think I've seen any of the other ones, though. 6'5 isn't that tall, what do you mean? What do you mean? You're a giant. I misread Ollie. Um, Ollie's as oils for a second for some reason. To be fair, they look kind of similar. I don't think I want <laughs> Ollie oil. Ew. These songs make me want to play uh, Just Dance. You know, I always thought I killed it at Just Dance because I, I beat know. you. But like, you'd be so close to me in score for barely moving. And I'd have to force you to play. I don't like playing freaking Just Dance. It's too hard. It's not. You just gotta dance. I like to think I'm a good dancer, but I don't think I am. But I like to think I am. Kung Fu Panda series, it looks horrible. I haven't heard anything about it. Do you forget how Chili's hair looks? Like, maybe. It's uh, hard to draw him with his head turned down like this. Cause normally I have the, the swirly bit going through this part of the hair, but it's not. Because his head's down now. When so the folders like... were on it, looks like Belvoir carrying Kaiba. <laughs> How tall is Belvoir? 
say Belvoir, it's Beaver. I'm pronouncing it the French way. <laughs> Do you guys know uh, the fitness marshal? I would do those, like, it's like workout dancing. I would always try to convince Mal to do, like, dancing with me for, like, working out. You would look like you've been murdered just from doing one dance. Because they're very involved dances, okay? They're fun! They're fun only for like the first minute. <laughs> and then you're like, then they're pain. I disagree. You just. One thing I definitely know about my height is that I was taller than 5'2 when I hit 12. That's it. That's the last time you checked your height. That's crazy. I check my height every day and am always disappointed. Just... Your VTuber height the same as you IRL? Yes. I didn't really think about, like, design-wise. I mean, our VTubers are literally just us. <laughs> we look the same as our VTubers, pretty much. Or at least that was the intention. So I'm 4'11 IRL, yeah. I'm 5'1 IRL. Did you think that our heights were exaggerated? Tomorrow I have a perfect doodle request? What? Interesting. Now I'm curious. I'm not that tall. I can admit it. I'm not that tall. You're really short. But no, I'm not. I've seen so many people shorter than me. I'm tired of this narrative that I'm the tiniest person in the world. I, I've seen a lot of professors that are shorter than me. A lot. Maybe it's just like people where I live are like tiny, but who knows? It's been many years since I last checked my head, actually. I didn't think it was exaggerated. I just wasn't sure if you guys changed the heights for the models. Nah. We didn't think about that. You know what? How do we even nah. change the this heights? This is canon for the models. now. I am eight feet tall in my VTuber model. I am a very tall person. I tower over all, and my powers, I can squish people beneath my feet, because I can't see them, they're all like little ants. <laughs> now tomorrow's request will show you your true height. Oh gosh. Saying Hal isn't the short person in America? That's gotta be wrong. I can't believe this. Kai, but you're really tall, right? <sighs> Who's the shortest person you know? Don't say me, because it's not me, I guarantee you. You're 6'4", but seem taller? I've seen taller people. But 6'4 is tall. To be fair, I know someone shorter than Hal, and she only wore like five inch, if not more, platforms everywhere. Shortest person I know is three feet tall. Ooh. See, I'm not tiny. I mean, what's the shortest adult you know? Okay, don't say that. 
She's like 4'6", if I remember correctly. That is pretty short. I had, uh, I, for a while, I wore platforms too. <laughs> uh, but they kind of wore down. And now I'm just wearing slip-on shoes because they're easier to wear. The first person I know might have been an upperclassman who was really short. I don't know how tall she was, but I feel like she was around house height. There was a girl in our high school that was, like, way shorter than me. She was, like, shoulder height to me, which is, like, tiny. I don't know what her height was, but everyone thought that she was, like, eight. <laughs> Your baby cousin, 4'11", I guess? No! I actually wonder how tall uh, my youngest cousins are going to end up, because they are, um, well, right now they're, like, five. But, um, their mom is, like, five feet. Like, just a little bit taller than me. So, maybe they'll end up my height. Maybe shorter. I don't know. We'll see. How mad would you be if all your cousins were exactly one inch taller? I'd be pretty mad. Every like family reunion, I'm used as like a like token of measurement for like all the like youngins to see how much they've grown. It's like, oh, are you taller than Hal yet? You know? Are you taller than Hal? Let's go chat. Let's see if you're taller than Hal. Every time. He has two different snowflakes in his eyes. Uh, starting today. <laughs> I mean, my baby cousin was like three foot person. I was talking about, uh, but if we were talking about adults in 411, ah, I see. I guess every snowflake is unique. I guess Chili used to have uh, monochromatic eyes, right? Or heterochromia, is that what it's called? Yeah. That's like his As old, you can old see model. on the screen, I have heterophobia. No, wait, that's not right. Heterochromia. Okay. I need to do some major cleaning up here. Oh gee, I'm considered tall since I was taller than my mom, also at 12. Then you're pro- you're probably pretty tall then. I'm trying to think of how tall. I, I can't remember- I can never remember the height of my uncle, but he's like giant. Is he 6'5"? He's like, I thought he was 6'8". He might be. I don't know how tall he is. He's tall. tall. I think he's really tall. Maybe my life peaked at 12. <laughs> I love how sweet Chili looks in this doodle, a complete opposite of how he DMs. <laughs> Man, we have a picture of how he DMs. Do we? Yeah, it was for his birthday. Oh, yeah. What do you mean, do we? I, my mind was on doodle requests. <laughs> nah. nah, nah. He's a monster. <laughs> Yeesh. Don't keep saying that. Kazan's gonna get it. I like that everyone's having like sort of traumatic stuff to deal with. And Evie just has like a girlfriend that she made cry. <laughs> Evie will be there. For everyone. She's got this. You can say his heart has frozen. He's cold as ice. He has no chill. <laughs> no more ice puns, please. He needs to chill. <laughs> I'll say it as much as I want. He's not a very... <laughs> not a very cherry person. <laughs> That's not true, but oh my god. Ah, puns are so easy with him. You guys are cheaters. Chili is cool, but his non-existent brother is cooler. Oh, hydrate. You got tea. 
I go? I need to go? Aw, oh, no. Are you just saying that because of the puns or do you actually have to go? Well, it was ice to meet you. <laughs> I, I need to go. I'm in. Oh my god. Wait. <laughs> Wait. There's only one person that's cooler than Chili. It's me. I'm cooler. After that pun, I need to go icy. Yes. <laughs> oh no, I just did it. I said icy. <laughs> There's no escape. Ever. I love my glasses. They're really cool. I'm really excited about tomorrow though. I just remembered a blurb I gotta make. I, okay, I see blurp on so many people's streams and I have no idea how to use blurp. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know what to click to make the, the sound notifications go and I'm too nervous to figure it out. I just, I just watch it go and I'm enjoying from the sidelines. Okay. thought about like I want to figure it'd be cool to have sound like redeems I think but they can get like out of hand fast event happening in Genshin that I haven't played that I need to play. <laughs> I know, I was just, I was zoning out to that song. I wonder if Hal's taller or Mal. I'm taller. I'm, I'm eight I'm feet tall. tall. I'm no, eight I'm feet tall. I'm eight feet tall, so I'm very tall. Hal is 4'11", I'm 5'1". Mal's a liar. <laughs> in lore, I'm eight feet tall. Just got back, uh, put last bit in the song. Ah. Yeah. I want all the food. Ah. <laughs> you just... You've made it? What'd you make? The blurp? Well, it has its own. I, well, I don't have blurp. Maybe. Mm, I don't know how it works, though. What would you think of like having sound things? I would welcome it. Can I link it? Sure. No. I, I love that audio. It's great, it's great, I it's great, it's great. I disagree fundamentally about this audio. I completely welcome it in all shapes and forms. Web is just sound alerts, uh, but you can set it uh, so that you can also search stuff for stuff on there. Ah. 411? Hal? I think you're the current shortest person I know because that 411 person I talked about earlier was from high school and has probably grown at least an inch. Well, psh, details. I 
I... I'm not the shortest person I know. Therefore, you know someone shorter. Being short isn't so bad. I think I'd rather be too short than too tall. Because... Being too tall can be kind of a nuisance. My, uh, grandpa, uh, he had, like, this house that he bought that I guess a giant lived in. Because, like, all of the, um, like, doors are, like, custom-made huge. And, like, all the shelves are, like, in insanely high. He has, like, special, like, all the counters are higher than normal. Everything. The shower is, like, huge and tall. Uh, so I guess a giant used to live in this house. But, like, man, that's really inconvenient. Like, having to, like, completely change the layout of your house because it's hard to live in, like, a world built for, like, normal height. I love big showers, they make me happy. Big showers are nice. They're nice in, like, for everyone. I love walk-in showers. They're like magic. It feels like I'm in a rainforest, you know? You ever, like, go out in the rain and they're like, Ah, oh, man. I'm living the life. <laughs> that sounded so weird. <laughs> I wish I was tall enough to have custom some huge doors. Well, I mean, I'd imagine it's expensive. And like, I mean, that dude moved out of his house, so like... Does that mean he has to get everything custom made again? That sucks. I rebuilt my shower a year ago to be a walk-in with a rainfall shower head. Ah, Dude, do you ever see like those crazy showers that like have water coming from like all directions? And, like, they have, like, a temperature thing that they can get, like, the exact temperature of water they want. And it's, like, magic. I've never been in a shower like that, but it is my goal to go in a shower like that at least at one point in my life. Oof. Yours has a temp thing? Oh my gosh. That's magic. You said it once, then just press the on button. That's... That's so cool. Do you know something that, like, sounds cool in theory, but I, I have never seen, like... Jacuzzi baths. Those things are a curse. You'd think, oh, no, it's a, it's a great thing, you know? Uh, it's like a hot tub. No! I don't think I've ever seen anyone have a jacuzzi bath that isn't, like, filled with crap in, like, the... The jets, because... It's impossible to clean. My parents have one and they never use it because it's so nasty. And like they've tried cleaning it and like just the pipes are so screwed up. I have the perfect shower each night. That's awesome. I have cold showers because I'm weird like that. You are weird. I need a bigger shower but my house is too small. I got a custom shower head because... Uh... I swear the water where I live is, like, not right. Like, it was, like, breaking my hair down. It, maybe my hair's just sensitive, but, like, so I got, like, this cool Ever filter. Ever since we got that new shower head, I've been getting less hair, like, falling out in the shower. Yeah! It's, like, I think there is something wrong with our water. I know my... I, I have no idea, like, the details of like hard water versus soft water i don't know what any of that means but like i know my my aunts and my parents were talking about it and like my aunts got like this soft water thing in their house so like their water like tasted different or whatever and they were making this big deal about it and my parents were like mm, no nah, that sounds too expensive but like man my hair is so much better when i'm at their place Hard water is gen- um, no, it's not ice, I swear. I don't know the details, but. Also, because I never get hot water when I take showers, it's inconvenient as crap. I mean, I've heard, like, that cold showers are supposedly better for you, but warm showers make me feel good in my soul, so. Also, 
like, I get, my, like, hands and feet get, like, really, really cold. Because I guess my circulation in my body sucks. So, like, I need to take warm showers to warm up my hands so they don't, like, fall apart. You know? I've decided that I'm just gonna make those white later on. I don't know the difference with- I think it's like the way water is filtered or something. I don't know. But I swear the water in my house is like garbage. The tap water tastes bad. It's not nearly as hydrating as like just drinking I don't know, out of a river, I guess. <laughs> Just bottled water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like way better. Maybe my house is just like not have water filter right. Comes down to how many minerals are in the water. Well, my water is mineralless, I guess. Hard water normally has more. Well, I have no idea. I think we have, I have no idea what kind of water we have in my house. It's just not right. It breaks my hair to pieces and is bad. Like, my mom's hair has gotten really, really thin. And then I switched the shower head to be a filtered shower head, and her hair is getting thick again. I think the water in my house is bad. I don't trust it. I also don't want to get boiled like a red tomato, so I'm pretty okay with cold showers because weather here is 24-7 summer, even in January. I take warm showers even in the summer. I'd much rather be too warm than too cold. I'm, I, maybe like my body doesn't circulate correctly because I'm like constantly cold, even in the summer. I'm rarely ever too hot. Like, I'm wearing sweatpants and a long sleeve shirt right now. And I'm cold. <laughs> it is hot outside. So each area has different minerals, so it's possible to have a lot of iron in the water turning your hair orange over time. It happened to my one friend that was like a platinum blonde naturally. Just depends on where you live. Huh. Well, Mal's hair is always orange, so. Yeah. We wouldn't know. You know how some people have to take like vitamins because like they don't have like the right amount of like minerals? What if they just got better water? Would that fix everything? I hate that I know all this. I spent too many years in construction. See, my dad wanted me to be an engineer. That's, I feel like that's like the common thing of like a, oh, you know math and art? Engineer. But I don't want to be an engineer. Yeah, that sounds way too complicated. Think about it. Brown is just a darker orange. I mean... Do you know something that people have been saying? Olive is just a darker yellow. So, my second favorite color I always say is olive because I like, and so I have like, like an olive green. But now I find out it's just a darker yellow. So my favorite color, my second favorite color is still yellow. I want Mal to be an engineer. They don't want to be an engineer. Why do you want me to be an engineer? That's literally like the worst job for me. Did you give up on me being an engineer because I'm not that smart? <laughs> oh, I was supposed to go to school for computer engineering for uh, the years, but literally the last couple months of school I said nah and changed the film. Best decision of my life. Hey dad, aren't you a film major? Because you do like, or an audio major? I don't remember. This is the color is olive? Okay. Make the color olive. Huh? Go to color wheel. Or whatever. Okay, go to yellow. This is olive. Yeah! Doesn't that look green? No, it's just a dark yellow. I wish I had engineering family to get some help finding work. Yeah, I've, I've not, a lot of jobs you need like, um connections. I do live productions now and I'm having too much fun with it. 
I was supposed to go to college to get a good job, but now I play games as an anime character for clicks. I love this song, sorry. Okay, done. How did you not notice that was yellow? It looks green to me. Hold on. Go back, make it, like, okay, okay, okay. No. Can I, can I, can no. I do a color lesson really fast? No, you cannot. So does dad do film or broadcast? Uh, he used to work for like a news station, like freelance, uh, filming for, um, news stations. But he doesn't really do it much anymore because of streaming and also my mom is like the main, like, breadwinner. So, um, he'll sometimes do, he'll sometimes record like local school plays and whatnot. As like a favor. Gets paid like nothing though. Hold on, I'll pull up a picture of Nene. There you go. Or that's not Nene. Nene Kusanagi. But he, he worked with his like best friend. I need to watch Dad more either way. I feel like it can be fun to talk about if he would be okay with it. Oh, there he is. I started as a local TV news cameraman, then did field audio for NBC News nationally. That. But this energy always makes me forget that how's the older one. <laughs> I am older by two years. Okay, a year and a half, but like basically two years. I have a few local Emmy awards. That's true. He can le like legitimately say he's won an Emmy, but it's not like as. <laughs> Not like a national, it's local. He also has filmed a couple weddings. That was like for family and friends though. He has, um, who's counting, am I right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, wait, Dad, correct me if I'm wrong, but that Megamind poster that's in your computer room, did you get that from, like, doing a, a contest with, like, recording? I forget. It's amazing. I do some local news camera work now, but uh, went into broadcasting some horse shows now. Hopefully one day I can get to do that too. He mostly did it with his uh, best friend. He's a family friend. He still does uh, news stuff though. Hmm. Sometimes, sometimes dad still does it, like, uh, but I think you're kind of sick of it. Chrome just died and I missed your question. Ah. Uh. The Megamind poster in your room, did you get that from doing a competition with film work? I can't remember. I know you want to, like, something, like, when, like, I think Twitter was small. You told me the story before. I don't remember if it was the Megamind poster that you won, though. Oopsies, that's in the completely wrong spot. No, I got my light kit from my online competition. Ah, okay. Where did you get the Megamind poster from? <laughs> My dad has a lot of cameras. Yeah, I know a little bit about photography because I took a class on it, but also because yeah, I, I, he taught me. Uh, I, there's like a lot of like, uh, I have a lot of like 
videos from when I was like very, very little because my dad would like film me. Because, well, he'd test his cameras out and stuff. The signed Mega Mind poster I won from a Twitter giveaway back when no one was on Twitter. I won a Zune HD the same way. You have a lot of Zunes. That does not narrow down which Zune it is. You got all the Zunes. Wish I had a Mega Mind poster. It's signed. <laughs> I wonder if the uh, forehead would be life size. It's pretty big. It's a pretty big poster. I don't know. <laughs> it's just kind of funny because I don't think he's ever watched my life. No, we used to watch. We watched it. Like, I watched it, but I don't remember. 3D. I don't know if Dad like. Well, okay. Mega Mind was like you had to watch it in 3D when it came out, and they have like that whole like ping pong thing at the beginning. It's like meant to be 3D, you know. Very gimmicky. Everyone signed it, but Brad Pitt. He just wasn't in the mood. <laughs> Uh, but most of like the videos from when I was a kid, I always wanted the camera. I'd like start crying because you wouldn't give it to me. But I mean, you don't want to give a kid a camera. It's really expensive. I don't know why I wanted the camera so bad. I think it's just a lot of buttons. Who doesn't want to touch all those buttons? I don't think I was ever really that good at photography. I, I had some good photos, but... I don't really think I'm... I, I don't think I'm that photogenic. I think I look good, like, on, like, in mirrors and stuff, but, like, I don't think I photograph good, you know? You gotta be there to appreciate it, like... And I think it's the same with anything I take photos. Maybe I'm just bad at taking photos. Maybe I am photogenic. No, I don't think so. But, anyways. I wonder how that conversation with Brad Pitt went. Hey, you gotta sign this poster for, like, Twitter. No, I don't wanna. It's lame. Message you a photo of the Megamind poster in your Discord. It's not that exciting, just so everyone knows. It's not even the full picture. Nene's so cute. I like her hairstyle. Anime gets really creative with hairstyles. Since, like, hair is, like, usually the only defining feature of anime characters. They gotta do, like, a bunch of crazy stuff. Her hair's cute. Kind of reminds me of Willow from, uh, Owl House. They have, like, a really similar hairstyle. Except Nene's hair's way longer. <sighs> I'm changing her eye because I don't like it. I, I, I liked it though. Oh, also, we might have to end soon. I just realized the time. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I spent a really long time on that data request. <laughs> also, I haven't eaten anything like all day, so I should probably eat something. So after you finish Nene, should we finish? M Mal? <laughs> yeah, just give me a second. Okay. Well, I guess it makes sense to give her a little bit of a sharper eye. She's kind of rude. I'm levitating. The Milky Way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm lagging out of this world. I'm just better than you. That's why the computer likes me more. Am I okay? No. <laughs> What's happening? I think I know why I'm lagging more than usual. Oh. Uh. Oh my <sighs> god. Oh my god. Stop moving! <laughs> okay, it's me. Okay. Imagine eating. I drink my nutrition. Ah, uh, I mean, I mean... I'm 
hungry, man. Just... I used to have these shakes that I drink because I have stomach issues and sometimes I need to drink my food, but... I like eating, man. Eating is enjoyable. Man, I want pizza. I haven't had pizza in a while. Hey, Dan. <laughs> the thing I really like about Wonderland Showtime and their designs is they have like a lot of patterns in their outfits, you know? Stripes and spots and... I love the color palettes. It's like a very cute pastel. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I think I need to fix the models. I, I tried capturing them in a different way. It gets it more detailed, but uh, it's lagging like crazy, so I might have to s switch it back. Uh, there's like this transparent capture thing, which I switched it to. I used to like do like color things. Uh, green screen? <laughs> yeah. But uh, I don't think it's working out. I think I need to go back to green screen. <laughs> oh my gosh. She has a mind of her own. She's becoming sentient. Oh my god. <laughs> Trying to escape. Now I think about it, I could just grab a chocolate bar from the fridge. But that's a bad idea since I haven't eaten yet and it's 5 a.m. Oh, it's 5 a.m.? But chocolate's never a bad idea. Don't listen to me. I'm like the devil on your shoulder. But chocolate is really good. Don't listen to me. I do it. I shouldn't. <laughs> Dude, what if that's why I've been having crazy nightmares? Because I ate way too much sugar before bed. <laughs> What's this song from and why do I know it? It's, uh, Genshin. It's Klee's song. Maybe Sky showed it to you. Maybe that's how you know it. Your streams start extremely early where I am. I mean, fair. Is it Genshin? Yeah. It's Klee. It sounds like, uh, the producers. I have no idea what that is. This is, uh, the promotional video music for Klee. Spark Knight Klee, Knights of Pavonius, uh, where she's blowing up everything. It's a musical. <laughs> okay, do you know it? Hold on. Oh, no, I do not. It sounded slightly familiar. No, I don't know it. What, uh, what does angle... Angel... What's the difference between angle? What does angle Mal think? Because I need to hear both sides of the same shoulder first. Huh? Oh, the devil on the shoulder. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think you should eat the chocolate. Oh, no. Personally. You've got two devils on your shoulders. I'm so sorry. The demon at my shoulder makes a good point. Always trust the shoulder demon. What is that from? The Owl House. Is it? Yeah. It's, she's talking to King. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, it's not the song I was thinking, but they have the same vibe. To be fair, Genshin takes a lot of, like, inspiration from a couple different things. Like, um, the Fatui, I think, are based on the Commedia dell'arte. Man, I'm so excited about the Fatui. They, they just revealed a ton of the different Fatui harbingers, and they're so pretty. Oh, I just... Okay, <laughs> I'll take one chocolate square from the bar. Only one. 
Alright. The producers is good, though. I'd recommend the 2005 movie. It's really fun. Ooh. So many things to watch. Oh. Do you know? I. Okay. One musical that I really like that. It has a couple of, like, popular, like, audios, but, like, the song that, like. Oh. So, The Ordinaries is a musical. Like, lots of people know the audio because, like, I'll have a. a Mocha caramel latte chino made with skim milk, no whipped cream. Please put that in a grande That's cup. That's it. But use the same amount of coffee that you put into a tall. That way there's about an inch of extra room on top to stir in my own nutmeg without spilling any coffee at all. That's the most popular audio. But they have a song that is so gut-wrenchingly sad, I cry every time I hear it. Uh called I'll Be Here? Holy smokes! It takes me so off guard. The whole musical feels like it's building up till that to that song, and it works. Oh, all like the funny gags, all the everything leads up to like the oh crap of that song. Oh, it's so good. I can send you a clip of the song I was thinking of if you want. Yeah, sure. I'll probably listen to it after. Nope, nope, nope. I just heard a noise in the kitchen, and I think my brothers are awake. I don't want to get snitched on. That's fair. I need the picture back. Oh, sorry. Here she is. She's got a cute little outfit. She's got a little bow right here. Dude, I love all of their outfits. I think Tsukasa's is my favorite, though. His is kind of generic, though. I know it's like a bit more on the generic side, but I like that tail coat thing. <sighs> Looking at their outfits, I really want to design some formal wear outfits. Come on, wouldn't it be fun? How do these guys' outfits make you want to design formal wear outfits? <laughs> well, okay, even though they're a little bit clowny, they have, like, you know, lots of bow ties and, like, poofy dresses, skirts, stuff, and things. You know? Yeah. Two hours and 30 minutes. I have an idea for a formal wear for Oliver. I think it'll look really good. I just need to learn how to draw now. <laughs> uh, there was, uh, I'm trying to remember. There was something I thought of for Oliver and I can't remember what it was. Oh, it was, uh, what was it? Oh, it was, oh, you said it. It was like the break dancing with the removable head <laughs> and how cool that would be. I need to see how that would be. That's so. That'd be so cool. Or get better at Vroid. It's been two hours and three minutes uh, since stream started. Cool. Yeah. Nene has really dumb looking shoes. It's got like leg warmers. <laughs> yeah. And only five hours more, and you'll get a D and D session. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that session was so long. <laughs> I still can't believe that at the end of the session we could not stop laughing. It was like... <laughs> it wasn't even funny. <laughs> There's so much stuff that happened. Oh man. Should have been recording. I say one dumb thing and hell breaks loose. Well, it's that you said you said something dumb. Chili <laughs> Chili started laughing at it, and I think you started laughing at the fact that Chili laughed at it, and then your laugh was like <laughs> wheezing and I <laughs> And also it was very late, so we were all just laughing. 
at anything at that point. So I might head out early today. See ya, Hal. See ya, Mel. Bye, chat. See ya later, Hyper. Get some rest, because it's late. Do you need so cute? Yeah, when I hear, when I laugh really hard, I laugh too hard. Most of the time when I'm like laughing really hard, I just kind of go silent. Like it's like silent laughter. It's not really wheezing though. I guess I am wheezing. It's just way quieter. It's just like silently like. <laughs> And also a lot of like rolling around, like you know, like I I'm like I'm on the floor laughing, rolling around, like. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at Nene, she's so pretty. Correction, I woke up this early. Oh, okay, never mind. All right, see you later. I used to wake up early, but lately I've been waking up at noon. <laughs> I do not know why. When I was in high school, people... Gogged? How funny something was... To how oh, they gauged! I can't read. <laughs> they gauged how funny something was with how hard I laughed. I used to have like six levels of laugh. I used to laugh like a donkey. Like... Like, I, I can't do it now, but people made fun of me, so I changed my laugh. But it was like... <laughs> That's it! Where's my baseball emote? We do need to make some more animated emotes. Dude, Nanny's so pretty! I only drew two people, man. That's not true, you did doodle requests. Yeah, I know, but... Alright, should we end the stream? I guess so. <laughs> we got, I have to eat, I'm so hungry. Alright, let me look for someone to raid. Let's see. Oh, Beaver's streaming. Oh, it's Lord's Belvoir. <gasps> Thank you everyone for hanging out with us. This is fun. I was mostly just doodling for funsies. Oh, that was not the right username. What did I do wrong? Lord's... You spelled it with an A. What? <laughs> what? How did I do that? Have a good dinner. Thank you. Thanks for the stream. Thank you all for hanging out with us. We'll see you all later. Probably, no, no, definitely tomorrow because of D&D. &D, because we'll be streaming it now. Exciting stuff. But we'll see you all later. Bye.